Hey Virgo. Hey Virgo. It's us. We're back. <laughs> yeah, you gonna think we wicked witches? Cause, uh, well, the card of the day and the energy of the focus is not something people like to talk about. So put on those big girl and big boy panties or whatever you identify with or. I don't care if you put on panties at all, but... Hey, let's keep it PG, okay? 13. It's about emotions, guys. Yeah. Okay, well, that just went out the window. What? PG-13. Why? It's about emotions. I know. Okay. Oh, get over yourself. <laughs> it's garments. She's so serious sometimes. No, I'm not. I'm not ever <laughs> serious. Yeah. Well, I am sometimes. Yeah, me and the spirit talk to it. Yeah, I can talk for hours okay. about spirit. So go ahead. Oh. What do you got? Because we all, I already peeked at my cards, guys. I like to peek at my cards. I don't that know. way, I'm scared because you get that a way, good cop. I don't know if I get to be the good cop or not. All right, we'll see. But I like to peek so I can make sure I tell you guys everything I see because I kind of sneak peeks while we're going through stuff. Which guy? Well, see, she's already got her story, so now uh, I don't look at mine. So well, it's see, kinda this uncovered. isn't my story. This is uh, well, Vine's yeah. story. I'm just yeah. relaying the messages. She she got her message. Mm -hmm. Now we kind of it's interesting how sometimes they fit together. Absolutely, let's and, see. Uh, Sometimes, you know, it's good cop, bad cop. Sometimes, I don't know. It is what it is. And yes. apparently it works because people seem to be liking it. Yep. All right. So I pulled one Oracle card from the herbiary deck. Wisdom of the herbiary. You know, I got the burdock. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Burdock, some good juju. It is. And it says on here, tap your resources. Now, the thing about burdock is it's um, it's an amazing, amazing plant. It uh, it has a very long, deep root, and there's a lot of magic in that root. There's a lot of sweetness in that root. There's a lot of healing in that root. There's a lot of love in that root because it goes deep. Mm -hmm. It ain't afraid. You know what drives all that healing? Love. Yeah. There's the emotion. Yep, that's the one we got to deal with. And the idea of it and how it's connected to pain and all that bullshit. And growth? Well, yeah. Spiritual growth? Well, yeah, because right now we are too stubborn to learn from love. We have too much uh, societal programming mm -hmm. that we have to uncover to truly discover the true power of our emotions, which mm -hmm. basically, you know, traumas and pain, if you don't process them, process them correctly, uh, what happens is these great big stop signs and barriers and everything goes up. And we keep repeating the same cycles. Yeah. Until we process the, the truth about that point. correctly. Right. Until we yeah. until we get a, a mindset that makes us understand something that we've been programmed to not even listen to. So you know, mm -hmm. kind of like a bunch of lost broken records. Yeah. Doing the same things, hoping it'll change because we don't know what to do. So. Mm -hmm. We're trying something different here. All right. We're trying to not make half of the magic an enemy because of the idea of pain. Now, mm -hmm. nobody has ever died just from heartache. We we discovered this. It takes a mind-heart cohesion so, even for death. So what you're saying is that broken heart syndrome which is listed as an actual cause of death. Very rare, though. Yes, typically in elderly couples that mm -hmm. have been married extremely long amounts and of time. And very codependent. 
that even though their death is labeled as broken heart syndrome, it's actually their mind, it's a their stress, stress that yeah. kills them. It's your mind. Okay. Stops the shit out of that heart. And then we can't go deep and heal. All right. So mm -hmm. what we need to do, because the heart actually speaks the language of the divine. Okay. Any, any power that comes from the heart is etched in eternity when you use it. Mm -hmm. Anything that comes from the mind is temporary. Yes. So you can manifest from here and think things into reality all you want, mm -hmm. but it's only going to last as long. As your emotions are balanced with your mind? Well, it's only going to last as long as your ability to go deep. Okay. In other words, let's say I'm using the power of my mind mostly and I really feel, I really feel, you know, happy you about your mind. No, I mean, I'm using my mind and I'm also using some emotion. Some. I'm allowing myself to be in the moment and seeing myself be it. Whatever it is I'm trying to manifest. Okay. 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 But you're still manifesting from want. Oh. Which is lack. Oh, yeah. So you got a force working against your true eternal manifestation there. So when you manifest, when, when you have when you things happen in your life, that you have said that you would like to come to fruition mm -hmm. if you do them from a state of I, I want, want that is a state of lack and it means that you will create more lack well you might get because of the power of, don't, don't, I'm not discounting the power of the mind this is one half of the key here okay mm -hmm. to balance and to happiness and to freedom and to understanding and 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 the lack of want all right there's a key there the lack of want but i it. thought that when you manifest you are supposed to be as thankful and grateful as if you already have it and picture yourself with it therefore it's not a state of lack it's a state of gratitude. Yes. Right. But see, gratitude in this case can only come from balance because balance is a natural state. All right. Want is not. So you're saying I'm not supposed to keep up with the Joneses? No. Fuck the Joneses. I don't want to fuck the Joneses. <laughs> I don't. No, I don't. I either. don't. Okay, that's that's, that's a whole it. nother. Okay, let's forget about the Joneses. Okay, and what the Joneses are up to. Okay, okay this isn't about the Joneses. This is about you and spirit. This and is spirit, about Virgo spirit. Talks to you through your heart. That's that's the language of the eternity. The eternal conscious is, is love. It's the language of the heart, okay? But your heart and your mind speak two different languages because your mind speaks the language of Logic. physical. Logic. Yeah. Everything yeah. that has to do with Everything the that they can see, touch, smell, taste, yeah. etc. Yeah. Okay. And it's it's uh, it's a temporary thing, and that's why the mind only goes so far. That's why you got to have this eternity. That's and the thing about it is, is so love is faith, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Well, love is many things. It's kind of like God. I I believe that once you try to define it, that you actually confine it. Because no, 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 I don't no. want to limit it to possibilities of what no. I think I'm it not going to limit it. I'm going to take a phrase directly out of the Bible. And you in growing plants know this. The faith of a mustard seed will get you very far. Think of the size of the mustard seed and how big that plant can grow. And how many seeds it creates to make that many more plants that big. 
Well, that's where I was coming from. I believe the biblical quote is, with faith as big as a grain of a mustard seed. Mm -hmm. You Mm -hmm. can look at that mountain, say, mountain move. Mm -hmm. And the mountain moves. Because the mountain is part of the physical reality. Love is part of the the eternal reality that holds and creates everything Mm -hmm. physical. Mm So, okay, you know, let's see. Let's see where we're going. Uh, I mean, Burdock, that's healing. So I have hope here. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going on. Oh, shit. Well, oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I'm your daddy, bitch. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Yeah, I gotta be the. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna it's kind of hard to be Ooh. the bad. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> Wait a minute, we're having a moment. <laughs> I'm gonna put you on pause. <laughs>